to another video. Today we're going to be covering a lesson on Down the Road by Dirty Honey. I did the cover for this one a while ago and I ended up getting sick and never got around to doing the cover. Um, so yeah, we're here, we're going to do the the or the or lesson. Uh, we're going to do the lesson for this one and uh, I plan on doing Scars next by these guys. Um, so if, if you're looking for that, stay tuned for that, I'll have that soon. Um, I, I just, sorry for any like the little gaps in between videos now i started school about two weeks ago and now it's starting to get really busy so it's becoming harder to uh, put videos out on youtube so got a little bit of time today i'm gonna uh, post this lesson and then i'm gonna see what i can do for uh, other covers and lessons as far as posting goes so yeah let's get right into it we're in e flat tuning uh, which is the same for all the dirty honey songs so far <coughs> Um, and yeah, so getting right into it, uh, you're going to start with an E major chord, or even just an E power chord. So I, I do, I switch between the two, I, it depends on what I'm feeling, I guess. So that E power chord, 2nd fret, A string, and B string, and then you go up here to the 11th fret on the D string, and a whole bend. And then you release. And then 9th fret G string. And then 11th fret E string. And then 11th fret G string. And then back to 11th on D. And then 9th on G. And then again. Uh, so a whole bend from the 11th on the G. A release. And then go to 9th fret on the G string. And then 13th fret on the G string, a little half bend. And that's twice, so. And then you slide back down to 11th on the G. Pick it, a bend, and then release, and then go back to the 9th. So. just a D major chord without the um, second fret on the E string and if you've been watching my channel I've done a lot of songs where that's been the case so so you, you play it and you let it ring and then the second time you, you cut it off so the second stroke you cut it off and then you're gonna play an A major chord but you're gonna bar it with your so A major is normally D G B all on second fret. You're gonna bar that with your first finger, and then your third finger is gonna go on the fourth fret of the A string to get that C sharp bass. So you hold again, you strum and you hold, and then the the second stroke to cut it off, and then open A to the second fret, the third fret on the A string into a C, C major chord position. So you'll play the A string, the D string at 2nd fret, open G, and then 1st fret B string, and then you hammer on to 3rd fret with your pinky, and then G string, or you hammer on, pull off, and then G, open G, and then 2nd fret D string. So uh, let's go from... Um, Let's go from the D chord, so. And then again the open E. 
So the open E to fourth fret to second fret on the A string, second fret on the D string. And then again with this, this D power chord. So you're gonna let it ring, and then the second time you play it, you're gonna do like a hammer on uh, on the pull, so or the the stroke. So you play it, and then you hammer on quickly afterwards, and then you stroke it again uh, with when your finger comes off. So one pick, another pick. So and then you go again with your pinky on the B string. It hammers on to fifth fret. And then it goes into the A chord. So sped up. Uh, so let's go right from the E again. So. so after that, you get right into that A chord. So the fourth fret again on A string, and then the barred A chord. Amen. Same deal with the C chord there. And now you're going to slide up. You're barring the D string, G string, and D string. You're going to slide up to 7th fret. So you play the D string, B string, G string. And then you slide up again. Uh, and you're going to be playing 11th fret B string, 9th fret G string, and 10th fret uh, B string. <coughs> And again, same order of those strings, so D string, B string, G string. So, and then you're gonna slide into the uh, the chord. It's basically the same as the first one. So it's just two frets up. So on uh, three, five, seven, ninth fret. Ninth fret here, you're gonna just bar the D string, G string, and B string, and same deal with the E string, then B string, then G string. So all together. Let me try that again. And then that repeats. to a B power chord. So, so. so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back into that main uh, intro part that they had in the beginning. <coughs> so the whole chorus goes through about four times. It, it is four times. And on the fourth time you go... Get that E power chord again, and then the whole band on the 11th fret of the G string, and then release, and then 9th fret, and then same deal again, so same as the intro, except this time when you're holding this, you go to 9th uh, fret on the D string, and then hammer on to 11th on the D. <coughs> Play the ninth on G twice. So, so all together. And then this time you're going to do a half bend from the eleventh on the G string. You hold it, and then you release, and then ninth fret, and then back to eleventh, and then hold that half bend again. And then your pinky's going to come here on 12th fret of the B string. So that band gets hold while you put held while you play this. So hold the band, 12th fret B string, play the band while it's still held, release, and then 9th fret on the G string. So hold together. Overdrive setting. 
Let me turn my volume down here. So again with that, that D chord again, and then same thing with the A, the bar, and then the fourth fret on the A string. And after the C chord this time, instead of going back to... The, so you'll go C chord. So this this little lick right here is uh, second fret on the E string, pull off. Second fret on the D string, pull off. So first fret on the G string, and then you play fourth fret on the D string, second fret E string, fourth fret A string, second fret A string, open E. So. that one the one hammer on and then pull off it's like a Hendrix Jimi Hendrix style of playing or Stevie Ray Vaughan so so you'll play you hammer on and then you, you play it again after your fingers off and then back into that A chord C again and then you, you slide up for the chorus so. four times on the fourth time now. So this time in one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of going back to the E, you're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then slide up two frets. You're gonna bar on the fourth, starting from the A string down, and you're gonna play that minor chord position. So it's like an A minor chord, so sixth fret, uh, on the D string, 6th fret on the G, and 5th on the B. And then you're going to move that same position up one string. So. so that's the first two chords of that uh, part leading into the solo. And now you're going to go into what would be an A major chord, but you're gonna leave the second fret of the B string out. So it's just D string, second fret, and G string, second fret, and you're playing from the A string down. And an E major chord. And after that E major chord, so you're gonna do a whole bend on the seventh fret of the B string, release, and then play fifth fret of the D string, and then sixth fret of the G string. So, and then you'll go fourth fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, first fret on the G string, and then second fret on the B string. So, and then the second part is fourth fret on the E string, third or yeah. Fourth fret on the E string, third fret on the A string, first fret on the D string, and the G string. So, and then back into that A without the B string again. So you're just gonna leave the two fingers on there, and then B power chord. So you're gonna do that B power chord one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. You're gonna do that ten times, and then you're gonna go into the solo. So. so going into the solo here, you're on ninth fret of the D string. Hammer on to eleventh, and then ninth fret G string, and then you play it again, and then hammer on eleventh, and then pull off. So. After that little lick right there, a whole bend uh, like you've been doing for the intro and such, uh, on a G string on the 11th fret. And then you play it again. And then one more time, and then you release the bend on the third time. So. And then you release, and then 
go to ninth fret, and then you hold, go back up onto the whole band. So, and then your pinky's gonna come in here at the twelfth fret on the B string. So, and in the meantime, again, you're holding that band. And after that, pinky comes in. You're gonna play the G string again with that band and release. And then ninth fret G string to eleventh, and then back to ninth. So. the 
third fret on the E string, and then I'll give a little bend, and you're going to go into an E chord, and then back to D, and then the A, and then E. So that records, or, or that repeats, and it goes for the whole extent of another chorus. So. Three, four, five, six on the B power chord into an E major chord, and then you'll go bar the second fret, and that's that minor chord position again. So second fret barred from the A string down, and then fourth fret D string, T string, third fret D string, and now you're gonna bar second fret the entire thing. And you're going to go fourth fret on the A string and D string. So with your third and fourth finger. So. You're going to go to an A major chord. Back to the E. basically repeats right until the uh, end of the song and then going into the end of the song it like the, the last few notes it's or the other part um, so the upper part is 12th fret B string and then you slide to 14th Back to 12th, then to 10th, back, and then a slide again from 12th to 14th, back to 12th, 10th, and then 9th. So. And you can hammer on, uh, right before you go here, you can hammer on to 12th and then pull off. Or down here, you're going 13th fret on the G string, slide up one fret, back down to 13, and then 11, slide up again from 13th to 14th, uh, back to 13th, and then uh, 11th you play, and hammer on to 13th, and then pull off, and then you slide down two frets to 9th on the G, and then right there. So. So yeah, that's how that that's how uh, the whole song for that goes for the most part. Um, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down in the section below, and I'll uh, try and answer uh, when I can. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and answer everyone's comments. So uh, if you have a question, just leave it there, and I'll try and answer it as soon as I can. So. Yeah, and also check out my Instagram account. I post a lot of covers on there that I don't, uh, some of them I don't put here. Um, just little solos and songs and such. Uh, so go and check that out if you haven't already. I'll leave it linked down in the description. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Until next time, keep on rocking.